Hey everyone, um, I'm sure you all know about the events that's been going on in America regarding police brutality um, and the murder of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, and I have been posting and sharing things about it um, since last week on my social medias, but I realized that maybe not um, everyone that subscribes to me or can watch this video um, follows me on my social medias so I wanted to still make a video about it. So I guess the first thing I just want to address is that there's people, um, especially white people, that have been saying um, I don't know what to say about it, I don't know which words to use um, and either they say that um, now, like days after this has been going on um, and then start posting about it or do you say these things and don't say anything else about it at all and I just think if you say that and if you genuinely think that's true then that's just bullshit like um, you can literally just share and repost and retweet other people especially black people's posts about this and spread the word through that there's millions hundreds i don't know posts um with links and resources etc um just available for you to click on and share on your social medias and you won't even have to add a single word and if you cannot do that then honestly i don't i don't know what to say to you um so yeah, if you haven't done any of that yet, then I just want to tell you to start doing that right now and to genuinely think about why you haven't been sharing and talking about this yet. Because I think there's like obviously a racist problem um, if you haven't done that. So that's what I just want to start off with. Um, then secondly, um, Mina from Mina Reads, I'll link her channel down below. She made a video um, talking about especially the way that the book community has been responding to what's going on and um, how disappointing this is and how much silence there's been and how many people there are that don't want to sacrifice their um, pretty book aesthetic or whatever on their social medias um, to talk about this topic. Um, so I just, I'm gonna link her channel down below and also her video um, about this and I really really highly suggest that you watch it. Um, everything she says uh, I'm sure just resonates with any black person. Um, and it's really something a lot of you, a lot of us need to hear. And she shouldn't have had to make that video, but she did. So just go watch it. Um, then I just... Um, the thing is, there's so much systematic oppression and racism in... America, but also in Europe and in every other country. Um, I'm Dutch myself and I live in France and there is still so much racism in both these countries. Um, I've witnessed it, I've heard about it and it's just crazy. And I really feel like there's people here in these countries here in Europe who feel like Racism is not a thing anymore here and that is just completely not true and the fact that we um, white people that simply because of our skin we don't even have to think about these things we don't even have to acknowledge the fact that racism still exists just speaks so much of how much privilege we have um, and there's black people that have to deal with racism every single day 
that have to be scared for their lives every single day and that is not okay and it's genuinely a problem within our society within the mindsets of our people but also a problem within all of our systems there's basically not any system any society any part of society that you can name where there is not racism and that's not okay and we need to fight and be actively anti-racist until the systems are actually changed and things actually change for the better and if you are white or a non-black person of color i urge you just like i do myself um, to ed educate yourself i'm not saying i know everything i am very very much aware that there's so many things i don't know um, and i would never want to speak over black people or um, obviously i don't want to say the wrong things but that doesn't mean that we can be silent we need to use our voice and we need to use our platforms to amplify and uplift and support and protect black people and their voices we need to be an ally every single day not just right now when it's a trending topic but every single day and these things don't always have to be public even though that's a very good thing but every single day you need to think to yourself and do the work to be actively anti-racist and to educate yourself about these topics and about the things that are going on in the world every single day and we need to sorry there's someone making noise in the, in the building we need to keep fighting for the black people and for the black creators inside this book community until there is actual change until there is change we cannot stop fighting also i just want to address that it is pride month and i'm obviously part of the lgbtq plus community myself and i know that there's many many others inside this book community who are as well um but pride month started as a riot led by black trans women so if you do not support the black lives matter movement you do not get to support and celebrate pride that is just the fact that's just how it is so if you are gay or queer or whatever sexuality or gender besides heterosexual and cisgender um then i just want to say to you that you have to support and care about black people and their lives and if you don't then you do not get to celebrate pride we need to talk about this especially within the book community because we always like to pretend like we're so educated and we care so much about diversity and then when it actually comes to it we just don't many of us don't um actually support these causes um and that's not okay and we need to keep talking because talking about it and spreading awareness and protesting actually can create change all four officers have been charged um which just so shows that doing these things protesting does have an effect it does do something um but this is not nearly enough we are not nearly done there are so many names so many people that have died at the hands of police or other systematic racial problems and i just it's just horrible that black people need to live with that every single day so if you are white or a non-black person of color you need to use your privilege to create change you need to use your privilege 
to uplift and amplify black voices. Give them the voice they need and deserve so that there can be actual change. I just, um, I just want you all to talk about this. And, and if you don't talk, talk about it, then just unsubscribe to me, unfollow me on social media. I do not want your energy um, or your mindset or whatever mixed with mine. <clears throat> and if you care so much about this being the book community, which I mean, how is talking about books more important than talking about the lives of actual black people? I, I, I don't get that either way. But even if you really, for some reason, want to keep talking about books, then support and um, talk about books by black authors, books with black main characters and talk about this movement in that way. Use your voice to spread awareness and to share and to um, and to support black people that way. I will put um, links to places where you can donate, places where you can sign petitions in the description box. Um, I obviously don't have a big enough um, platform for my videos to get any money, so I sadly won't be able to donate money that I would have gotten off of this video um, to any um, of the charities. But if you can donate, please do. And if not, then just sign petitions. It takes like five seconds and it's the least you can do, honestly. So I will leave all those links down below. Um, and I will also be leaving Mina's links down below too. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. I just wanted to use my YouTube account to also address this the things that have been going on um, and yeah so I guess that's all I have to say um, just educate yourself and learn to be actively anti-racist that's all I'll see you in the next video bye